so today I am at the Fortune Center here in Singapore and I heard this place has the best pasta in Singapore, Pasta & Co. So you might think that why am I eating pasta in Singapore but honestly Singapore has been so diverse. I've seen Mexican food here, Turkish, Indian, Malaysian, Indonesian, Korean, literally all sorts of different cuisine are located in Singapore. It's literally like a massive melting pot which I think is super awesome. So I'm here to try the best pasta place in Singapore and show you guys. So let's go inside and check it out. Walk towards the entrance, you actually see a menu on display here. They have a whole bunch of different um, appetizers and sides. So this is the main course. And I think we'll be trying one of every single one because these all sound amazing. And what's really cool is you get a choice of handmade pasta. These are handmade and you get to choose which one you want. I'm gonna get a mix of everything, but that's so cool. We got beetroot fusilli, pumpkin rigatoni, squid ink, squidding on that one, and roasted capsicum with paprika spaghetti. Very interesting. Inside here again, but you see that guys? These are all handmade pastas, so that's super cool. And you get to see them prepping your food right over here. Oh my God, this smells amazing on his shoulder over there but they're basically making the sauces for the pasta right now adding in all the meat and stuff that sauce looks so creamy oh and look at that shrimp in my pasta too that looks so good my goodness is that tofu uh the one is tofu like fried tofu oh fried tofu yeah. perfect tofu with pasta we know we're in china or not china asia we mix these two together Ooh, look at that sauce. Yum. Pasta came out. It looks absolutely incredible. There is too much for me to talk all at once. So we're going to go over this one by one. But I cannot wait to try out all of this. This looks amazing. So let's get started. I'm just going to put my hair up real quick. There is so much to go over. And I don't even know where to start. It all looks absolutely amazing. But maybe the first one I try out is the mushroom risotto. This is the only non-pasta main course and I love risotto. It reminds me of porridge and I love porridge so much. Look at that. Ooh, it looks so creamy. It's got mushrooms in here and some king oysters as well. Let's give this a try. Oh, wow. That is rich. It is so rich. My goodness. Mm. Oh my god. I can just inhale this. That's so good. It's the perfect amount of saltiness and texture and herb. And the mushroom has a really, really nice chewy texture. Mm. Mm. I'm just inhaling every single bite of this risotto. I need a shot of the last bit on my other phone before I finish it. Okay, I am blown away by that dish. It's also, um, I'm very biased towards anything mushroom. So that's probably why I like it. But I like this that I love eating like porridge and congee. That tastes like a very rich, cheesy congee. Oh my god, I love it. This one is an easy 10 out of 10. Okay. Mm. Wow. Okay. I would totally come back and get that. Next one I'm going to try is their um, Capcio El Pepe, 
something like that. It's like basically the cheese one, and this one is the truffle one. It's like squiggly pasta. Mm. Wow, that is a lot of cheese. Oh my god. The texture of the pasta is very good. It's a little bit too salty for my taste, and um, but the and it's really really cheesy. But I love the truffle; it comes out really prominently. Mm. If you're a cheese lover, you would love this. Mm. I'm really excited to try the squiddy pasta. Alright, let's try this out. Well, not bad. I um don't think it's creamy at all. Or like the pasta doesn't soak up too much of the flavor but it's just a very light pasta we're not looking for anything too heavy there's no cheese in this one it's very light and let's try out this mushroom not mushroom i still want my mushroom the clam mm, okay kind good That one wasn't exactly my favorite, but let's move on to this one. This one is the ragu. It has meat that has been cooking for over 16 hours. So I really want to try that. Mm. Oh yeah, it's very tender. You got some sort of like crispy fried thing on top. Mm. Fried onion, there you go. Pasta itself doesn't have too much flavor. It's just kind of like soaked in that beef stew. The sauce is just kind of like very watery. It's not like really creamy. It's just like a stew. Mm. I love the fried onion. And this one is again, if you're going for something a little bit lighter because it's not creamy at all, it's not heavy. It's not buttery. Well, this meat. Mm. This one, because I think it's super special. This one is kind of like a combination of both Italian and Singapore because this one is laksa and kind of like pasta form. And laksa is a very popular Singaporean dish, which basically tastes like curry noodles. And look at the size of these prawns. They look huge. Let's try this out. At first, I want to try out the shrimp. Let's peel this. Ooh, it's easy peel too. They have it like preparated in the middle. Because I'm bad at peeling shrimp. So I need all the help I can get. These are big pieces though, looks good. God, I'm so bad. I'm so bad at killing shrimp. Okay, here we go. Ugh. All right, let's try this out. I'm gonna dip it in that laksa sauce. Mm, this shrimp's very fresh. Now let's try out these noodles. quality is so good yeah it's like a really nice light sweet curry flavor a little bit creamy we want some fried bean curds mm. okay i like this one 
Not as much as the risotto. That risotto blew me away. I'm actually so happy I started it off with that one because that one I could go for another bowl of. That one was so good. But I didn't really like the squid ink one and then the uh, cheesy car cap Chio, cappuccino, el pepe or something. A little bit too salty for me. And then the beef stew that was soaked is pretty good too, but I think this is the second best so far besides the risotto, but the risotto is still just like over the top for me. I love the quality of the pasta, so. Like I said at the beginning, the pasta is all handmade and it's cooked al dente perfectly. Hi guys, this is their mentaiko pasta. I popped the egg yolk. Look at that creaminess. Oof. Okay. Stop bacon. Ooh, look at that. Creamy noodles. stuff a little bit more savory but it's still very good mm. i'm super excited to try this one this one's the chicken agolio olio when it first came out it was just like a massive heavy of garlic flavor favorite so far. It's a dry noodle. It is garlicky. It is spicy. Um, it's not creamy. <clears throat> like not too creamy. The noodles are cooked perfectly. The chicken. The chicken is absolutely amazing. It's marinated. Oh, I want hot chicken skin. Ooh. Oh my god, this is so good. It reminds me of the um, garlic noodles you get at uh, Vietnamese places. I just don't want. Since the mushroom risotto is a um, rice dish or non pasta dish, it's not rice. What is risotto? I don't know, but this is probably my favorite pasta dish so far. It's really, really good. This one is lamb riquez. This was one of the first things that came out and it caught my attention because it had this little mini sausages in there. And these are lamb sausages. I love lamb. Let's try this out. Okay, it's not what I expected. It's sweet. Ooh, it's sweet. Why is it sweet? I expected something savory or spicy. This one tastes like a uh, ketchup goat cheese pasta. Yeah, the sauce tastes like a sweetness that ketchup would have. Mm. Not really my favorite, but I love the rotini pasta. The rotini pasta is really good. It has really, really good texture. Oh, that's... Huh. That cheese is a little, like, burst of saltiness. Very interesting dish. I don't know, very contrast of combination. Not the one for me. So we're gonna put that aside. And we're gonna try out this one. 
pasta alla vodka, which seems pretty straightforward. It's just like some pasta ragu sauce. Mm, no. Tastes like a very basic like red sauce pasta dish with cheese. I like it though. It's good. It's very straightforward. for me so we're gonna move on from that because that is not sitting right with me so we're gonna try the beef bolognese and I know I like beef bolognese so let's give this a shot mm. oh that's good it's rich it's not that creamy mm. It's a little spicy. So this is what we did. It's kind of obvious which one I liked. Mushroom risotto was absolutely phenomenal. My favorite pasta dish is the garlic chicken noodles right here. Then the beef bolognese. Then a la vodka. And then this lamb stew. The laksa. Um, the rest is kind of hard for me to tell. This one. <laughs> And now between these four are my least favorite. So I would go with this one first. I could actually eat this one and then I could actually stomach that one. <laughs> uh, this one I can actually eat because the rotini is very good. And I don't know what is, I don't know why I didn't like that one like at all. It's just something didn't sit right with me. Might be like the seafood flavor, but I just didn't really like seaweed with pasta. Like the combination of like cheese and seaweed do not mix. Like I understand it's like looking for like a fusion concept, but maybe that fusion just does not, it might work for some people, but not for me. So yeah, okay. At least I tried it, at least I tried it. And now I know I don't like it. So I like, like you, like you can tell, I like the more savory ones, the more spicy ones, the more like garlic heavy, the less cheese, less too creamy ones. I, you, you guys know I don't really like that cheese all that much anyway. So yeah, that's my take on this place. So I'm going to come here with the um, risotto. Oh, the risotto, the risotto mushroom. Okay, it's just like two things that I'm just so biased with. I love congee, I love mushrooms, and I love rice. I know risotto's not rice, but it tastes like rice. So that's, my head is just thinking it's like a creamy rice mushroom soup. And it was just so creamy, so easy to eat, just melts in your mouth. Absolutely delicious, so much umami. And then the garlic noodles, I think are the best fusion thing here because, um, you know, I love garlic. The chicken's marinated super well. The chicken is probably, was probably the best protein I've had here. And then the beef bolognese, solid. And then if you don't want any meat, the ala vodka was phenomenal, so. That's my take on Pizza & Co here. All right, guys, so that was my experience there at Pasta & Co. It's definitely a very interesting spot to go at because it's very unique. They actually have the seasonal flavors. That chicken garlic one, I really like. That was like a seasonal flavor pasta. So sometimes they do some crazy, wacky flavors. They have chocolate pasta sometimes, matcha pasta sometimes. And funny enough, they told me that the Mentaiko one, the one with the scallops and the green topico, <laughs> it's actually their best seller. But it's the one I didn't like, I like, I didn't like the most. 
so maybe it's just like a, a local flavor thing that I'm not used to because it's very fishy and it just like I said it just didn't sit right with me but I, I don't like mentaiko so I already knew that so that's why I don't like it so maybe you'll like it but I do not like that kind of flavor combination but either way I had an amazing time at pasta so definitely recommend you guys come over here to try some pasta if you visit Singapore and yeah let them know I sent you and I hope you guys have been enjoying these videos more Singapore videos to come more travel vlogs to come so either way um, I hope I'll see you next time make sure to like and subscribe and yeah bye bye Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And make sure to check out my website for all my merchandise. I've got clothing, prints, and stickers all up on there. And make sure to check out my social media, my Facebook page. Um, I do a lot of live streaming and on my Instagram page. I do a lot of giveaways and on my Twitter page. I also give a shout out to where I might be so you guys can kind of follow me on my journey, okay? And then check out my other videos. And again, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.